difference between thinking about it and actually completing it. But don't despair, Galen Culver has a story of an Oklahoma City woman who took 20 years to finish her book. She was 15 in 79, a sophomore in a small Louisiana town, a cheerleader, and a writer, too. So it was just something we had fun with, you know, kind of a slumber party kind of game that we play. Vicki Freeman used to write stories for her friends. One of them, she thought, turned out pretty good. This one just kind of is one that kind of stuck with us. Um, the main characters do represent a couple of my girlfriends. You know, time is a funny thing. Funny how it seems to pass slowly and then so quickly. Vicki's story was rejected by a publisher and put away. Vicki Freeman became Vicki Allen. Almost 20 years, three kids and a house cleaning later, there it was. That old story became the launching point for a new book. So you kind of go back in time and you start just picking back up where the storyline left off, making up your own situations and adding to. And um, It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Vicki spent a year and a half revising and rewriting between Star Wars ID card. Raising her family and working full time. Late at night, she'd type a few pages. You color this picture. During the afternoons and evenings, she'd spend time with her husband and the kids. So all of Clifford would be read. It worked somehow. Vicki's tale of a teenager growing up over a period of many years made it to bookstore shelves. You know, this is following a dream. Twenty years is a long time to take writing a book, but time is a funny thing. To Vicki, those two decades went by pretty fast. In Oklahoma City, Galen Culver, News Channel 4. Is this a great state or what? Man, that is a Herculean labor of love. Now, Vicki Allen's book, if you didn't notice it from the video, is called For Molly, and it is now on sale at Full Circle, Barnes & Noble, and Borders Books. It's also on sale at the thrifty IGA Pharmacy, where Vicki just happens to work. Mm -hmm.